Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today I have for you an easy bow tutorial. Bows are one of my favorite things to make. It just takes a little time and practice. For this bow, I am going to be using two different colors of ribbon and two different sizes. The one on the left with the lemon print is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. The one on the right is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. First, you're going to want to let out a tail, and it just kind of depends on what you're working on to the length of your tails. I just did a six inch tail, pinching it together. Now I'm making a loop, and I'm going to measure my loop, and this loop is about a four inch loop, so it's perfect for a wreath. Then I'm going to let out some more ribbon, and then I'm going to twist this ribbon to keep the design on top. Notice how I just rotated it in my hand, that way the design stays on top, and sometimes you have to do that when you have ribbon with a design. Check to make sure your loops are about the same size each time, both about four inches. Let out some more ribbon. Make another loop on the left side. Keep it tight in your left hand or whichever hand you want. Check to make sure your loops are the same size. Go back to the other side. Make another four inch loop, keeping it pinched tightly in your hand. Check your loop size. Keep it nice and tight in your hand. Let out a tail. Then I'm going to be adding the 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire on top. So I'm going to let out a tail. Place the yellow ribbon directly on top of the lemon ribbon. Hold it tight in my hand. Now I'm going to make a three and a half inch loop with the 1.5 inch width ribbon. So a smaller loop, so I'm going to check, and make it about three and a half inches. Then I'm going to go to the other side, make another three and a half inch loop. So if it's a little too long, kind of give it a pull so that you get it the length you need. And I'm just doing two loops with the yellow ribbon. So I'm going to let out a tail. Now that I have my bow the size I want, you're going to need a zip tie or some floral wire to wrap nice and tight around the center of your bow. If you're using a zip tie, then you'll want to, once you have your bow finished, slide a piece of floral wire underneath the zip tie. That way you can easily attach it to your wreath or whatever you're working on. Now it's time to dovetail the ends, so take your tail, fold it in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side and cut away from the fold and that makes the pretty V on the ends. There are lots of different ways to tie a bow. I have lots of bow tutorials on my YouTube channel. I have a bow playlist if you'd like to check that out or if you would like to see another style bow, just kind of describe it to me and I'll try to link a tutorial for you. Make sure you dovetail all of your ends. You could just cut it at a slant or knife cut if you prefer. So once you have your ends all dovetailed, then you're going to fluff the loops of your bow. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of time and patience to get your bow shaped the way you like. I like just putting my hand in the loop and kind of opening it up. So just make sure you open up your loops. Now with the yellow 1.5 inch width ribbon, you can either leave the loops, one on the left, one on the right, or you can take them and turn one and put it on the top and the other one on the bottom. And sometimes you have to go back and trim your tails shorter if they're not the right length. Also with your tails, you have options. You can have them going in different directions like this, or you can take the tails and all put them down toward the bottom of your bow. It's your choice. The secret to tying pretty bows is to get your loops the same size each time and good quality ribbon is really important. It makes tying bows much easier. So if you're going to splurge on something, I would splurge on good quality ribbon. I did go back and I trimmed my tails a little bit shorter, but here I am taking the tails and I am just putting them to the bottom of the bow. Most of the time when I make a wreath, I just leave my tails on the bottom, but sometimes I like them to go in different directions. It just kind of depends on the style wreath that I'm putting it on. So just take your time and shape your bow, and lots of times you have to shape it several times before you get your wreath or whatever you're working on finished. So just be patient, and you will want to use ribbon with wire because the loops will stand up and the bow will just hold its shape better. If you do not like the 1.5 inch ribbon on top, 
just stop after you do your two loops on the left and two loops on the right with the 2.5 inch width ribbon. So this is how it looks with one loop going up to the top and one loop to the bottom. And then here's how it looks with the uh, loops of yellow going to the left and the right. And now I'm adding a piece of floral wire, just threading it underneath that zip tie. And that way I can easily attach it to my wreath or whatever craft project I'm working on. I hope this bow tutorial helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber.